Alright, cool. So Coach Anthony back here. Another another important video for you guys. One that may be overlooked by some people. They might not think is that important. Some people requested this, so you know I know there's people who are concerned about this and thinking about it. But the main thing is balance, okay? And a lot of people, why am I off balance? Or I see fighters fighting and they're off balance and they don't realize why they're 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 messing up and it really, really all starts with the stance, okay? The first thing is his boxing stance. Toe heel alignment, ball of his back foot, all right? Knees are bent slightly, right? Um, as you can see, everything's nice and centered. His waist distributed evenly, okay? Now, right now, I gave him a little slight shove, right? He's got a good balance, right? He can even kind of cock back, lean back a little bit. He can do all those things. As you can see, his balance is good. And that's really mainly because his feet are positioned where they need to be positioned. So that's the first thing about balance. Make sure your stance is right. Because if he was to, let's say for instance, face the camera here. Let's just say for instance, he has a toe heel alignment. Let's say he takes his back foot, he just places his back foot behind his, his front foot to the naked eye. It may seem like he's still in a boxing stance, right? Bends his knees, it kind of looks the same. To the naked eye, it's not a big deal because, oh yeah, his feet are right. But now, he doesn't have the same balance. All right, so when he goes ahead and he puts that toe heel alignment the way it's supposed to be, that's the number one thing for balance. The next thing for balance is form, okay? Everything works together, you know what I mean? So if, let's just say he's throwing his straight right hand, okay? and overthrow your right hand, all right? So he overthrows his right hand. Look at his head now. Head is over his front knee, head, I mean, over his foot, everything. He no longer has balance. It's basically like he's falling forward. But if he sits down, throws his right hand with good form and technique, keeps his nose behind his knee, keeps his front foot in front of his head, all right? Let's do that again. Throw your right hand. Nice little right hand, leave it out there. Look at his balance, right? He's got his foot positioned the way he's supposed to be. Do that again. Now look, we didn't choreograph this video, all right? So he doesn't even know what I'm gonna tell him next, right? Good, just bend your knees from right there. Stay there and just bend your knees. Good. Leave it there and just bend your knees. Look, he's got good balance down here. He's got good balance up here. Everything is comfortable, right? Boom, right? He can come right here. Everything is good because his feet are positioned right. He didn't go overboard. He didn't do anything to knock his balance off, okay? So main things is keep your boxing stance right, keep your good form and technique when you're throwing your shots. Therefore, when you shadow box, shadow box nice and slow. Make sure your form is right. Make sure your technique is right. Make sure your feet are right. Make sure your nose isn't passing your knee. Make sure the front foot's in front of your head. Make sure you're on the ball of your back of your foot. These are the main things for balance.